This video explains the congenital heart condition pulmonary stenosis. You may wish to view our video on the normal heart function first. The part of the heart that pumps blood to the lungs is called the right ventricle. Blood passes from the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve to the main pulmonary artery, which then divides into right and left pulmonary arteries to take blood to the right and left lungs. Pulmonary stenosis is an abnormality of the pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve opens to allow blood out of the heart and then closes to prevent blood leaking back into the heart. In pulmonary stenosis, the valve doesn't open as well as it should, and this can mean that the heart has to work harder to pump blood to the lungs. When the heart has to work harder, over time, this can cause the muscle of the right ventricle to become thicker to enable it to pump more forcefully. When pulmonary stenosis is mild, there is little obstruction to blood being pumped to the lungs. The heart muscle does not become thicker and treatment may not be necessary. When pulmonary stenosis is more severe, treatment may be required. In some cases, surgery is performed to improve the function of the valve. In other cases, a pulmonary balloon valvuloplasty can be performed. A pulmonary balloon valvuloplasty is a keyhole procedure in which a balloon is passed through the heart to the pulmonary valve, where it is inflated. The expansion of the balloon forces the valve open. A potential consequence of treating pulmonary stenosis is that the pulmonary valve leaks. This is called pulmonary incompetence or pulmonary regurgitation. Some of the blood that has been pumped out of the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery leaks back into the right ventricle. This itself can have effects on the heart, usually over a long period of time. For more information on pulmonary incompetence, please view our separate video.